Hello from the National Weather Service in Monterey. My name is Larry Smith and in this video I will go over the EF0 tornado that hit in Hollister, California on Wednesday, January 6th. At 8.50 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the morning of January 6, 2016, a weak tornado touched down in a field between Highway 156 and Orchard Road, approximately 7 miles north of Hollister, California, in San Benito County. Results from a damage survey conducted later that day by National Weather Service meteorologist Roger Goss showed that damage to be consistent with a tornado of EF0 intensity with maximum wind speeds of around 75 miles per hour. The tornado lasted just a minute or two and caused spotty damage along a three-quarter mile length with a path width of 10 to 20 yards that crossed Orchard Road as it moved to the north northeast. Two large barns suffered moderate to significant damage along with a fence and some trees. A large shed sustained significant damage with its roof blown off into a nearby tree. Additional roofing material was blown approximately 150 feet to the right of the shed with small tree limbs also scattered around the property. Several large pieces of sheet metal were scattered near the intersection of two private roads along the tornado's path. One piece of sheet metal was wrapped around a steel fence post. Tree limbs were also observed hanging on the power lines in an empty field. A large barn sustained significant damage with its roof blown off of the structure. Metal and wood roofing material were scattered up to 250 feet away into a nearby vineyard. Fence damage also occurred on the property. These images show KMUX Doppler radar data from 8.50 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, January 6, 2016, the approximate time of the tornado. The left image shows base, or lowest scan level, reflectivity, and the right image shows base level storm relative motion. In the latter, mesoscale cyclonic rotation can be seen just north of where the tornado touched down. But it is important to note that even the lowest elevation KMUX Doppler radar scans are centered more than 5,000 feet above ground level at this location. Circulations aloft like this are not uncommon in association with lines of convection, but only a small percentage are associated with tornadoes, especially with brief and weak non-supercell tornadoes, such as in the present case. Radar beam elevation can severely limit detection capabilities. We hope that you found this video informative. If you have any questions, you can email us at nws.bayarea at noaa.gov. Thank you for your time.